Hey, Innocent Fam. It's Naya here. Happy Valentine's Day. Had to turn down the music a little bit. All right. Um, I'm going to do a love reading. I love Valentine's Day, first of all. That was like my favorite holiday in... Um, in elementary school, man, like, the little Valentine's Day parties we used to have was everything, okay? Like, that was, that was it for me. I really, really, I love, I love that, that, that sharing and giving energy. It was, it was the way we celebrated, you know, growing up, I grew up in the 90s um, as a child. And the way we celebrated with the candy and just giving our notes of love, you know. I used to actually read them little Dollar Tree, Dollar Store cards that we all used to give. I used to love coming home with the little bag full of candy and all the little cards because, like, that's what kind of heart that I have. So, you know, I was kind of always, like, the odd one out in school. But on Valentine's Day in school... I didn't feel like the odd one out because everybody was giving in love and I was friendly and warm and bubbly as a little girl. And all the other kids was, I was in the hood. So all the other kids was kind of bitter and angry and mean, you know, I had to beat kids up growing up because they thought I was loving and sweet. They thought, they thought shit was sweet, <laughs> but my character and my personality is so warm and welcoming and bubbly. And I give a lot of compliments to people all the time. And you know, so on Valentine's Day in school growing up, it was the one day that felt like it was in it was on my vibration. Like it was the one day where I felt like the energy in the classroom was on my frequency. So we're gonna do a love reading because that's what I like to do. Um this bag ain't really big enough to shake these up the way I want. Um, I'm oh, I'm gonna pull this oracle, this love oracle deck. But see, this card ain't really big enough to shake them up the way I like. I mean, this this bag ain't really big enough. Let's see. So we're gonna reorganize them right fast, right quick, right fast. I hope everybody is enjoying your Valentine's presents and everything. Uh, let me see. Me and my kids. Um are having fun today we're gonna make some more um cookies we're gonna make some more of the dipped pretzels and um dipped fruit like dipped strawberries and stuff me and my kids do me and my kids do those projects together i'm a homeschooling mom so it's you know it's it's my turn to create that fun Valentine's Day frequency in the classroom. So we already started off with, you know, giving each other cards and loving each other and stuff like that. And with the, with the candy and everything else like that. Um, but, you know, I came in here and started doing my readings while they ate lunch and while they play around. So when I come out of here, we're going to go ahead and get in that kitchen and dip some treats and, you know, do some little fun homeschool projects. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Any love energy you got? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, these are shaped like hearts. And they're not all the same on one side. So I like to pull these out of a box or a bag. I don't like to have to shuffle with these. But that's just what we're going to do. Okay, I got one. Got, what's the love energy? I got two. We're going to start off with those two. All right. So these are the first two love cards. It says... If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay, so somebody needs the message not to rush into love. 
And, you know, don't be tempted by the fact that it's Valentine's Day to just go sleep with anybody tonight or just rush into anything. You know, it, it, it's, it's just an American money holiday. You don't have to be with somebody because today's Valentine's Day. You know, learn, you know, get to the place where you love yourself and you're excited about holidays because you are alive and well and can celebrate it, you know? I'm, I'm just not the kind of person who's depressed because I have to stand alone. I've been standing alone my entire life. So it's not really depressing to me. But I, I can understand how it could bring sadness to other people who might be in uh, an emotional habit of codependency. God is saying, if you could do anything, what would it be? So what he's saying is, while you're waiting for your divine for your divine counterpart is 555 on the phone when I looked over just now. While you're waiting for your divine counterpart. So this message might be for somebody that has a divine soulmate or possibly might have a twin flame. While you're waiting for your divine counterpart, what would you do with yourself? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. Okay. What work can you get done? What self-healing can you get done? Um, you know, what things can you create? How can you expand yourself? How can you expand yourself while you're waiting to be joined with your divine counterpart? So, let's see. God, what is the tarot message behind these two cards that you had me flip out? Of the deck. All right, and I cut the deck on the lover. So this is definitely a message for um, a set of divine counterparts, okay? I cut the deck on the lover and the king of pentacles in reverse. So the king of pentacles is earth energy. The lovers is Gemini energy. It's air energy. Um, there might be a divine counterpart or a divine connection that is in financial distress. You know, this message, I don't, that shuffle was horrible just now. <laughs> um, this message could be for a king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, going through a tower or coming through a tower. Okay, so there's a king of pentacles, um, earth energy that's, that's, that's overcoming some devastation. And, you know, maybe, maybe your divine connection is under stress because of finances. I don't know. But we're going to see. God is saying, what would you do for yourself while you have to wait for this connection to come together? What do you want to do? And how do you want to do it? Follow your heart and listen to your heart and your intuition. I have the Queen of Wands that flipped over. I have the Knight of Wands that flipped over. Oh, shoot. I have the Page of Wands that flipped over. So, um... This is all fire energy. There might be a queen of wands who is in really, really high sexual energy. I had the, the death card, rebirth card in the bottom of the deck just now. There might be a queen of wands who's in high passionate energy or high sexual energy. Um, but she has to go on this journey alone. And she's, you know, she, she wants love is what I'm getting to. She has to move forward. Let me see. I have the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, listen. It says, wait, don't rush into it. You, okay, queen of wands, whoever you are, you are in this high sexual energy. It might be because today's Valentine's Day. You don't want to turn anybody down. You might be going forward too fast you might be you know reaching you might be reaching for sex reaching for the passion reaching for the dick a little bit too fast and too soon don't be a fast tail right now um you know you are the queen of wands you are magnetic for everything that you want okay this queen of wands energy sitting under this car you can have whatever you want you've done a lot of your healing don't be rushing for a sexual relationship 
you know, go ahead and continue to heal and grow. I have the magician. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what God is telling me. You are highly magnetic. You can have whatever you want. Ask God for what you want and move forward with your own personal goals and your own personal um your own personal business. Don't be so worried about sex and relationships right now. Um, I'm getting thirsty. I hear, I hear thirsty. Like, don't act too thirsty because then men won't value you. When I looked over after I said that, it was, um, it was one, it said the, the clock said one, two, three. It said 10, 23. So as you're moving forward and going forward with all this passionate energy, I know you don't really want to turn down a lot of anything. You're not really frustrated. You're not bitter. You're powerful and you're energetic and you're excited right now, but you're also the magician, okay? Um, this Wheel of Fortune card fell on the floor. And when I picked it up, it was in reverse, okay? Yeah, I had the devil here. The devil, the devil fell midway and this Wheel of Fortune card fell in reverse. And then at the bottom of the deck, I just looked up. It was 11-11 on the clock. And I have this seven of sword cards here in reverse. So somebody is going to manipulate you and deceive you because they know you're in this passionate magnetic energy. They know how powerful you are. You are the magician right now. You are magnetic. You're going off to a passionate new start. And you might be warm and welcoming to people, but somebody is going to come and try to come in and lie to you and deceive you. Okay? You don't want this devil energy. You don't want this seven of swords, you know, lying and deceptive, manipulative energy. It's going to fuck up your karma. It's, it's going to mess up your good karma. It's going to put you in the wheel of fortune and reverse. So instead of you going forward with joy and happiness and good luck, you're going to take on bad karma and bad luck. The emperor in reverse. This person is a narcissist. It might be a baby dad, you know, somebody. They might be somebody with kids. He might be a deadbeat, and he also might be someone's husband already. It was 1222 when I when I thought it might be someone's husband already. He, it, he got some bad karma on him, okay? This is an emperor in reverse, but you are the queen of wands and the upright. So I understand you might be a little bit horny, and I understand, you know, it's Valentine's Day, but do not rush. I have the Ace of Cups in reverse. He is not loving. I have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. He ain't got no job is what I just heard. That's what I just heard. So this Emperor in reverse is going to come in this devil energy right here and attempt to lie to you to steal your loving energy, to basically steal your energy. To take your cup of love. But he don't have nothing to offer. He broke. And he not even really a good person. So don't be all quick to give him the, the cat. Like don't be all quick. Don't go from a queen of wands. To a knight of wands. To a page of wands. Don't degrade yourself like that. You need to value yourself. And your self worth. Fuck Valentine's Day. Okay. It's 1333 on the clock. When I said fuck Valentine's Day. Okay, it does not matter what day of the week it is. Every single day of your life, you need to honor your worth and honor your value. Do not degrade yourself down to a page of wands from a queen of wands because this lying ass, this somebody fucking husband already, okay? This lying ass emperor in reverse and this double ass succubus um, energy vampire type of spirit. He's, he's going to come along broke. You don't want this, okay? So, if you could do anything with yourself while you're waiting for your divine counterpart, it was 14-14 on the clock when I said you don't want this. This is not what you want. If you're wondering, should you give him a chance? The answer is no. He could be an Aries, okay? You don't want him. It's hard for him to keep a job. Um... If you could do anything with yourself, what would it be? Close the door. Go back in the living room. My kids is running around, y'all. Please excuse me. Um, but listen, if you could do anything, what would it be? 
focus on yourself, focus on your growth, focus on your advancement so that these devil succubus energy people can't even get in. Okay? Guard your heart and guard your mind and be happy. Take yourself out. What would you do for yourself today? Listen, if I didn't have these kids, it is like 80 degrees today. I'm in Florida. If I didn't have these kids, I would go and buy my favorite food and I would go sit out on a beach and enjoy my own company. Seriously. But instead, I'm going to enjoy this Valentine's Day energy with my children. If you could do anything for yourself today, follow your heart and you do that. Don't give your heart to the wrong person today. Give your heart to yourself and enjoy your, enjoy your time alone today, okay? All right. Close the door. Mm, my kids are trying to get in here. All right. I love you, innocent fam, and enjoy this day. I hope ain't nobody sitting around depressed about no darn holiday. It is not that deep. I love you all.